show you how to cook and clean a Dungeness crab. First thing I want to show you though is uh, some people are scared to even hold them. And I want to show you that if you put your thumb right on the top, and put your fingers right here, there's no chance that you're going to get uh, your fingers caught in their claws. So this is a way to pick up a Dungeness crab. So again, if I want to approach it, you just pick it up this way and you can handle it. Another thing that people like to do is they like to take tongs. If you're really kind of squeamish, you can just pick it up like so. A lot of people will put the Dungeness crab right in the pot when it's still moving like this, but it's, it's kind of hard for a beginner because their claws sometimes will, will grab onto the pot, which is sort of sad. Um, so what I'd like to do is give it a little numbing tour in the freezer for about I don't know, if at, the, at the least 15 minutes, at the most 30 minutes, it's going to put it into sort of a, a numbed state. It's going to be a lot easier to handle. So uh, it's illegal actually to catch Dungeness crabs that are female because for obvious reasons the, they need the females to stay in the, in the waters to reproduce. So it's always good to know how to tell the difference between a female and a male. If you look over the, the bottom, at the, this is called the apron. Um, a male's apron is going to look like the uh, Washington Monument. It's going to be kind of uh, narrow and straight up, whereas a female is going to go from here and it's going to go around into basically a circle. So you want to look for the straight line for a male and like I said, a little bit of a circle for a female. So we're going to get ready to cook our Dungeness crab, but one of the most important things to do is make sure that there's enough salt in the water because Dungeness crab come from the salty ocean and if you cook it in still water, plain water, without the salt in it, you're going to be drawing some of that salt out of the crab, which is going to lose a lot of flavor. So I don't really use a technical measurement. It's basically just a sheesh load of salt per pot of water. So you can watch. Basically, I'm just going to add a bunch and then taste it and make sure it's salty like the ocean. Give it a little stir. And that tastes nice and, nice and briny. So it's out of the freezer, it's been in there for about 30 minutes, and you can see it's not moving anymore, a lot easier to put it in the pot. And make sure it's completely submerged. And I like to cook Dungeness crab for about 7 minutes per pound. Most Dungeness crab are about 2 pounds, so we're going to cook this one for 14 minutes. So the crab's ready now, we're going to take it out of the pot, and you really want to plunge it into some ice water to cool it. And that's going to be the most important thing you can do because you really want to stop the cooking process so you don't overcook the tender meat. So we're going to put it in the ice water, we're going to leave it there for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to clean it. So we have a nice chilled Dungeness crab here, and I'm going to show you how to clean it. And maybe also how to crack it, because some people don't know how to do that as well. So it's a little bit messy, so first thing I'm going to do is just put it over a bowl as I do this. What you want to do is, this is the, called the carapace. You want to locate the back of it, and you want to put your thumb right in here and grab right by the leg. There's a little bit of a place where it looks like your thumb can actually go very easily. You want to just grab it and pull upward. When you pull upward, you're just going to pull this whole top piece off, just like so. It's very easy to do. You just pull that off. This is um, what's known as the crab butter right in here. It's also the, uh, it's kind of like the liver for crab. And some people eat this, it's considered a delicacy. It's also where toxins tend to accumulate. So it's something I would only eat every once in a while. So I'm not going to eat it today. At this point, you're going to find the gills right here that run along this way. You're going to take all those off with your hands. They come off very easily. Same thing, you see them running this way. You're going to take all these off. Right here are the mouth parts of the crab, right here. And basically you just take your thumb, put it in there, and you're going to break these pieces off. Okay. At that point you flip the crab over. You're going to locate what we talked about earlier about uh, how to sex a crab. This is a male crab. It's called the apron. And basically you're going to put your finger right in this part. Sometimes you need a, a, a little tool to get in here. An oyster sucker is great. You're going to lift this part up, pull back, and pull off this part. At this point, you can just flip, you can break the crab in half. This is really easy. You just kind of fold it both ways like a book. And it's going to fall right in half. Okay? Sometimes people will just hit the crab like that and it'll knock some of this bit out. I like to just rinse it under cold water, which I'm going to do. I'll be right back once this is clean. Okay, now we have two uh, halves of a, of a cleaned crab. 
And I want to show you just very briefly how uh, some cracking techniques in order to get the meat out, because a lot of people uh, aren't sure how to do this the best way. The way I like to do it is separate uh, the leg from the body, like so. And just break it into pieces. Okay, like that. Sometimes a tool is a nice thing to use. You can use uh, an oyster shucker, a tooth, um, a chopstick is also nice. And really, if you're just gentle, you can kind of pull the meat out all in one nice big chunk like that. The meat comes out. I also like to break break the crab at different parts, right here and right here. A lot of people use crab crackers, but you can really use any kind of tool. I like to use this nice big rolling pin. It's very easy for me. You just take right at this one part. I'm going to hit it gently. Okay? Four times. At that point, it's just going to break. You just put your fingers in there and break the shell. And you can often get it out in one whole piece. Like so. And that's basically all you need to know for how to cook and clean a Dungeness crab.